Russell, welcome back to Rochester, my man. Hi, Derek. Thank you. And uh, congratulations on the number one album so far this year yeah, on the Jazz Week Charts. How about that, indeed? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Six weeks and counting. All right, now. And yeah. so who's going to be in the band tonight? Uh, the gentlemen who are on the record, Luke Selleck on the bass, Rick Jermison on the piano, and Willie Jones the third on the drums. Awesome. WJ3. Yeah. All right. All right. Good yeah. stuff here. So for you, it's all about the melody. <laughs> well, <laughs> yes. Yes. I've, I've always felt that way about music. I mean, it's about the melody. It's about other things, too. But to, yeah. to me, the melody is very important because people, the listener... The uh, the average listener don't know doesn't know anything about chord changes, or they may not have a whole lot of knowledge about music uh, as far as academics go. Right. But they will always remember a melody. They may not always know the lyrics to a song, but they will always remember how it goes. They can always be able to hum the melody. So that's always been very important to me. We're speaking with guitarist Russell Malone here on Jazz ninety point one. Something you've always been just so great at doing it in terms of getting a younger listening audience in is taking let's say you're playing a tune and you might drop an earth wind and fire lick in there you might drop a, a tune that from Gunsmoke, something that people also can connect with the music to i always thought that was really good i wish more musicians would do that why don't you think more musicians do that well i think of, well from for me um i grew up playing in the church and in the black church uh back in the south it was always important to connect with the listener um, my pastor, who was he? Well, he's gone now. But um, if we were getting a little too self-indulgent with what we were doing, he would make. Now, this is a bit hardcore, but he would make us get on, get off of our, our instruments, and, and get on the altar and pray for forgiveness. <laughs> really? And, and pray for forgiveness. Pray and, for forgiveness for taking it too, too long exactly. with Exactly. That's a little extreme, but that's the that's the way it was. But uh, and plus that experience and playing. Uh, in different kinds of bands, uh, funk, country. Yeah. Uh, I played all kinds of gigs, man, when I was living in Georgia. And it was always uh, important to connect with the listener because a lot of musicians make the mistake of trying to play for the other musicians. And that definitely, you know, we all want the respect and approval of the peers. But let's face it, man, a lot of times our peers don't always buy records. They don't always want to spend the money to come hear you play. Right. So we should never forget about the people who will actually spend the money. That's what I'm trying to play for. And there's, it's been proven by several artists who came before me that you can keep the music accessible without dumbing it down. Mm. You know, Cannonball Adderley proved it. Errol Garner proved it. And then a lot of musicians, they always talk about, well, I don't want to be commercial. I don't want to commercialize my sound or, or you know. Yeah. But as long as you're getting paid, you're commercial. I mean, the root word in commercial is commerce. As long as you're getting paid, you are commercial. You know That's what I mean? It. Yeah, so uh, you just have to um, keep in mind that no matter how much of an artist you want to be or try to be, we're here to entertain the people. It's show business. <laughs> there it is. The great Russell Malone here on Member Supported Jazz 90.1. People started lining up for your show around 2 o'clock this afternoon. Okay. Your show is at... Six o'clock and nine o'clock. Oh, so well, hey, just let man. you know that people are here and they, they want to hear that music. music. Well, we're so happy and, and thankful and grateful. Well, thank you, thank you so much, Russell Malone, you, and Derek. we'll see you very shortly. You sharp today, man. I thought I was clean. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right there.